All right, so Hertz crashed. It went bankrupt pretty much. And um, I sold my share on Saturday. It was after market, so I was ready to sell this, this morning. Uh, I woke up this morning, this is Tuesday after Memorial, and um, it, it, it stated that I was like $50 more of a profit than what I bought it for. And I was like, well, what the hell? So I was confused. And it was just, you know, it was, it was just leveling on the market. It wasn't going down or up. And then I went, so, you know, I go to sleep late at night. I wake up, whatever. And then I went back to sleep again. When I woke up again, it showed that I lost 250 bucks. I was like, what the hell? And it showed that it, it sold my share at 42 cents. And that's what just blows my mind. How did I sell my stocks for 42 cents? How did that happen? So I'm gonna look into this, see what's going on. Why? Why? Because I I joined uh, Robinhood uh, strictly just to buy Hertz and, and take that gamble to see if it's gonna go up, which it didn't. And but Robinhood sold my shares at 42 cents, and right now it's at 69 cents. And earlier it was like a 84 cents, and then it was at a dollar something. And so I'm like, why did it sell it at 42 cents? Like it. So I'm like, I can't. I mean, I'll figure this out. So it's, it's nothing. Like whatever. So because I lost that two hundred fifty dollars, I'm thinking, okay, you know what? Let's let's um, we could do it like lesson learned, or I can learn why that happened and what's all this going on with the with the app of uh, Robinhood and learn more into it. Which I'll tell you, what I'm gonna do. It. I have time. I mean, sh shoot, I'm not doing anything right now. All I got. I mean, June is when I'm gonna be busy. But right now, I got what four more days of just. Nothing I could do until June, because uh, I gotta get some rental properties and stuff. But as of right now, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm dedicate myself. So I'll make another video of what I'm doing. But as of right now, I did the little time I had right now when I saw the stock drop and I was like, oh whatever. I started investigating what oh what other stocks I could buy. So I bought uh, Ford uh, because, and I mean I mentioned it. It was at five dollars. That's already five eighty four, and I could see that. You know, because this pandemic, it's, it's it's killing it, and I don't think Ford is ever gonna go because it's American. I mean, how can you? Um, and same deal with Hertz. I would thought it's been there for so long. I mean, how could it? Be? But oh well. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, if I if I lose again, I lose again. But hopefully, maybe this is the only time I'm gonna lose money. Uh, I bought Groupon. I know some people might laugh at that, but I did. It's a dollar twenty-eight. I bought a hundred shares of that. Uh, who knows because I know it, it, it'll double once it double I'll just sell it uh, because my goal was just to get my 250 back that's my goal right now so I'm buying these stocks to figure hey I'm gonna get this and then I bought stocks that just they're idling but I could see three months ago they were double or triple um, uh, Navigator Holdings which is a uh, small carrier company for um, for fuel which is NVGS that's at 584 and then I'm looking at buying at uh, SASLO, which is South African um, Energy Fund. I'm gonna buy that because I saw that three months ago they were up there, and I know, you know, I'm just taking a risk. So that's what I'm looking looking at. Um, Spirit. I'm gonna buy some Spirit uh, Airlines uh, stock. I can see that. Yeah, it's down, but I'm trying to buy stuff that's cheap where I can still lose the money. And I'm still not like too much of a negative. Uh, I know maybe the stock market I see the people that make the big monies are the ones that go big and then you know just go from there uh, but I want to triple my money uh, whatever I buy so if I buy a hundred dollars of stocks uh, or I mean a hundred shares I want it where a dollar comes up and I I'm making my another hundred on that you know so that's where I'm at that's what so Maybe my, my strategy will change. This is me just beginning on it. And hopefully if you are uh, starting or you also lost money in Hertz, you just, you know, you learned a lesson, so but that's, that's what's that's the name of the game. You know, it's a gamble, stock market. Uh, this is new for me. I mean, the last time I bought stock was in, I think 2010 or 2009. And that was Circuit City. And of course, you know, that went to crap. So I thought, you know, I never dabbled with it again. But now things have changed. I have a stronger foundation, so it's sad to say this, but I can lose more money and it won't hurt me, so I'm okay now. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try this out, 
if I can't get my 250 back, I'm not meant to be to do the stock stock market and just move on. Uh, and but if I end up getting back, I will invest more and go from there. Uh, but hopefully, what I'm gonna study and learn about this that it'll prove, you know. And and just for everybody, if you're like an entrepreneur, you know, and you're thinking, oh, I want to do stuff on your own, this is it, man. Don't be dependent on a paycheck because you're just, you know. <sighs> okay, well, I was I want to say it, but I won't say it this time because I know some people get offended. So, uh, you know, you're just blinded, you know. Uh, once. Just, I think how's it go if you uh, if you depend on a paycheck um, money means nothing to you you don't know the value of money but if you don't get a paycheck then you know the value of money so uh, that's what I learned uh, <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna do this until the 30th uh, buying and looking at stocks and, and, and studying who's the best and what should I buy and I'll come up with a uh, new video from there uh, cause June I'm busy. It's all gonna be rental properties, real estate. I, I, I gotta fix some houses and stuff like that, and uh, make make more money to for me to relax for the next eight months. So that's where I'm at. And um, that's it. So take care. I mean, I, I lost money. I hope you didn't lose that much money. Uh, but I mean, you know, that's the name of the game. All right, take care and uh, be safe and. Man, do your investigation. I do every three months. I look at how much, and then of course I do the five years, and I, I and then, and that's what I'm doing right now. And whoever's tripled in three months, I'm I'm starting to buy. But of course I'm starting low. Anything that's under five dollars or six dollars, you may say, uh, that's what I do. Uh, Spirit is probably the most expensive one I'm gonna buy because you know, uh, they're, they're gonna go up no matter what. They're the cheapest, and they have the newest planes than anybody. If you look at it, all their planes are newer than any other airlines out there. And people don't know that. It's like, really? Go, yeah, they are. So, but I mean, it just gets you to A to B without no problems. Uh, yeah, they got crappy service. And, you know, there's nothing to, I can say about that, but it'll get you to A to B. And yeah, they're trying to, the way they make their money is by selling you stuff on the plane. You, know, you don't get nothing free. And that's it. But if you want a cheap flight, and that's all the purpose you want to do spirits the one but anyways uh take care and good luck all right bye